Elle Leary here for Merle Norman. I am a licensed esthetician and makeup artist. Today I'm going to teach you all the tips and tricks how to get melt proof makeup. It's summertime, it's hot, and we need that makeup to stay all day with these amazing makeup artist tricks. So let's do it. So when we're talking about melt proof makeup, we want longevity. We want our makeup to be touched up as little as possible. We want it to last as long as possible. This is the first step that I cannot educate enough on. It is hydration. I have this currently on right now. This is the Skin Intelligence Moisturizer, and it is such a beautiful, well-rounded, great for all skin types moisturizer. Now we want our skin to be hydrated before we start any of this routine because we want our foundation to hold on to the primer and all of the stuff underneath it and not sink into our skin because our skin is grabbing moisture from the foundation. So we're already giving it really great dose of moisture with the moisturizer. The next step is the tried and true Expert Touch Finishing Spray. I actually like to use this in the beginning and in the end. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna do just a real light, kind of generous spray all over the face with this. And what that does is it actually sets your skincare as well as it creates a barrier against your skincare and anything you put on top of it. And just to do double duty, again, layering is going to be super important here. Layering cream, sprays, and powder products on top of each other will help your makeup stay on all day. This is the foundation primer with SPF 15. We're going to put this on all the, over the face, really getting it underneath those eyes ever so gently, as well as bringing it all the way down onto that neck and jaw area. When using a primer like this, you want to let it sit on the skin just for a few minutes before you move into your foundation application. So while we're waiting for it to kind of settle, we are going to start with the eyes, which is typically how I do my makeup on an everyday basis. We're going to start with another primer. Can you see a theme here? Priming the skin in these layers is so important. This is the eyeshadow primer. We're going to apply this primer all the way from the lash line on the bottom all the way to up into our brow just before the brow starts and what I like to do is take whatever's left on the brush and run it under the eyes so if you are going to apply any eyeliner this is already prepped and primed for you as well so now for our eyes we're first going to start out with the shadow stick in dusky again creams and then layer powders we're going to just do a really soft very pretty natural eye for this summer look. Now we're going to go into our Knockout Nudes palette. We're going to start with Cafe Society, and I'm just going to take it on a number four eyes brush. Very little product. Since we already have a nice base down, you just want to use a color that's the similar shade that you first laid down. And I'm just going to go over it ever so gently and it's going to lock that in. And actually, I just applied a little bit of Moonstone to the inside corners of my eye, as well as on the brow bone. I just applied my foundation and concealer, all liquid products. We're going to finish up with our liquid or cream products by going in with the Cheek Crayon in Smoothie. We're gonna pop this right here, blend it in with a number seven face brush. Now, I haven't used any powders yet, and that's on purpose. By following this layering technique, you always want to use all of your cream and liquid products first and then set with powders. We're going in with our Soft Focus Finishing Powder in light to medium using a number three face brush. Now you're just going to use these kind of pressing motions and I'm going to go around my blush. I'm not going to set my blush with this product. Now we're going in with Lasting Cheek Color in Dusty Rose on a number five face brush. And we're just going to reinforce that color. Let's go and finish the eyes. We're going to go in with our mascara primer. And the important thing here is to start with one eye, finish that one eye, and then go to the next. Mascara primers are really inessential if you really want A, long-lasting mascara, but also B, the longest, luscious-looking lashes. 
Look how long it makes them. I've let this dry just for a quick moment. We're going in with Lash Lift Waterproof Mascara. Again, waterproof is gonna last a lot longer. Wiggle at the base. Now we're going in with our plush lip liner and sugar pie. I'm actually going to fill in the whole lip with the lip liner first and then put a gloss over it. By doing this tip, again, it's just gonna help that lip last a lot longer through drinking and eating. Going in with our plush lip gloss in Sweetest. All right, I just popped my brows on, let's finish this up. We're going back in with our Expert Touch Finishing Spray, and we're going to obviously set this makeup once more and also watch how it gives the glow back. Here is the final look. The glow is back and the makeup is completely set and ready to handle whatever you want to throw at it. Try these tips out this summer and make your makeup melt proof. All right, thank you all so much for being here and I'll see you on the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye loves. Oh,